hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me but a spring get ready with me but um wow i just fucking picked my nose and fucking came out great i'm gonna be um answering some i'm gonna be doing like a questions tag i wrote i googled tmi tag and there was these list of questions that popped up but there's a lot of different questions that popped up like list of questions so i just picked the first one i don't know if it's really the tmi tag or not but i'm just gonna answer them while i'm doing my makeup and i have no idea what i'm doing with my makeup today but all i know is i want to try doing like a spring makeup look i started out doing my eyebrows so i'm gonna start um, priming my eyes I'm gonna do some eyeshadow and the first question is what are you wearing well i'm wearing this off the shoulder crop top that is from this is really old actually i think it might have been from like wet seal or something i have no idea and then pants i'm wearing some <laughs> blues clues pajama pants sexy sexy i know but and that's what i'm wearing and then the second question is ever been in love I would like to think that I'm in love right now, but um, before that, I think this might be the first time before that, not really. I mean, I had crushes being like, oh, that person's cute, that person's nice or whatever, but that's about it. So right now, I would like to think that I am, but there are times that I want to kill him. But you know, I'm going to do some that's love, you know, so. Next question is, ever had a terrible breakup? I don't think I've ever had a terrible one. I mean, aren't breakups all pretty bad? I mean, I don't know, I, there was, no, not really. All the breakups I've had were pretty calm, like, it was like mutual, like we both knew it wasn't gonna work. Oh, I'm, I am priming my lids with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Yellow Concealer. I'm just priming my eyes with that. And I just realized that I fucking didn't wet my beauty sponge. So I'm gonna go do that. Yeah. Next question is, how tall are you? So I'm like five, okay, so people don't, People around me say that I'm five foot, but I'm not five foot. I'm, I went to the doctors and they told me I was five foot two, but everybody's like, no, you're not. Cause I'm this or whatever. And they're like, were you wearing shoes or yada yada? And I was like wearing flats. It wasn't, didn't have a single, it didn't have a heel or anything. So no, but to other people to make themselves feel better because apparently they just don't want me being five foot two i tell them i'm like five foot one or five foot one and a half but between you and me i'm five foot two <laughs> how much do you weigh as of currently i weigh about 115 pounds i've been getting a little bit of weight i used to be less than that obviously if i gain weight what the fuck am i talking about but yeah i used to be less than that but I've been getting a little bit of weight. I need to start working out, but you know, <laughs> girl's lazy. <laughs> girl's lazy, and I live in Seattle, and although right now and lately it's been really sunny and nice, a lot of the times it's not the case at all. So anyways, I'm gonna start with my eyeshadow, and I'm gonna take the my dirty Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's been through a lot and I'm gonna be taking mixing these two shades and putting it in my crease um, I will tell you the name oh wait the names are back here um it I'm taking butter and pooter on my as transition shade what the hell am I talking about any tattoos no I'm really scared of needles and I don't I'm not really good with <laughs> commitment and a tattoo is a very big commitment that I'm not ready for especially with all the pain 
So no, I don't, do I ever think I'm gonna get a tattoo? Probably, most likely 100% not. <laughs> Question is, any piercings? I only have two piercings. Two piercings? Wait, would it be considered one piercing because it's on your ear? Like they're the same piercings or would you consider it as a two piercing? I got m my regular holes, the first holes on my ears pierced and that's all I have. And that is a story because so I got I've always wanted to get my ears pierced like forever but like I said earlier I'm hella scared of needles and pain so I couldn't get it for the longest time and so when I was 18 my two Chinese roommates wanted to get their ears pierced at Claire's and I was like I, I went with them. I wasn't going to do it. But then <laughs> one of the girls was like, oh my God, you should get your ears too. And I'm just like, what? And they were like, yeah, just do it. You know, it's, you're already here. Might as well. We're all doing it. You know, it's nice to do it with a group of people than just by yourself. And I mean, I wouldn't say peer pressured, but kind of. <laughs> I mean, I, the reason why I wouldn't say peer pressured is because I, I'm happy I did it and it was a good push. I needed the good push to do it. Otherwise, I'd probably be still sitting here and my answer would have been, no, I don't have any piercings. But I do, so that's good. But yeah, I sat in the chair in Claire's and I fucking suffocated their little teddy bear. I was not... I was not having it. And what's the funny part was <laughs> I was suffocating the teddy bear and the next girl who sat after me was like a five year old or something like that. And they took it like a champ and made me feel very, very embarrassed. But yeah, OTP. A one true pairing. Um, well, there's this, I'm going to assume it's like a show or something right my one true pairing is a couple in this um anime called uh wow sekai chatsukoi if you know it you know it if you don't you don't but basically it's if you do know it it's the couple that the one guy works in um at a bookstore he's the younger guy and then the other one works at a manga publishing company that's my one true pairing if you know them cool you know follow me on instagram or write down the comments that you know and if that and who's your one true pairing is but yeah, that's mine <laughs> that's li I've literally my favorite show of all time i watched it like 20 times i also watched jinjo romantica 20 times but i think my one true pairing is the one in sekai chatsukoi so if you're into those kind of shows, you should definitely watch it. Or if you're into those kind of shows, you probably already know it because it's really, really big. But yeah. I'm going to be taking the James Charles Morphe palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here. I didn't. I threw away the little, the little sheet that had all the names in it. So, like so. And I'm going to take that in my crease and on corners. I'm probably going to end up doing a halo eye. Um, favorite show, I just told you my favorite show, Sekai Chatskoi. That's my favorite show in anime, but right now I'm really into Bleach, and I know that's really, really old, but I never watched it before, and then I started in December, and now I'm almost done, but I'm really into it right now. But um, right now, I have phases. So sometimes I'll be in an anime phase, which is what I'm in right now, and sometimes I'll be in like a Korean drama phase for like a few months, and then after that I'll be in like a Japanese drama phase for a few months, and then I'll be into American drama phases. So right now I'm in anime phases, so those are my favorite shows. My favorite American show is probably going to be like, it used to be Pretty Little Liars or um, Supernatural. Right now for an American show, I'm watching Dexter, which is pretty cool really good so if you've never watched it you should dramas i think my favorite one is called oh kim samson and kim samson and you are beautiful favorite brands for what for clothing favorite um brand for clothing 
is do I even have a oh, fashion of it? Oh, this mirror just asked my eyesight. Okay, and then for makeup brands, um, so far lately I've been into Morphe, like they're all of their eyeshadow palettes, and they've been killing it. I haven't used their eye, uh, foundation though, so I can't say anything about that. I've heard a lot of bad things about it and about their shades. Like they have a good shade range, but when you put it on, it's like weird undertones or like turning green and stuff. And it kind of sucks because it's only sold online that I know of. Like I didn't see it at my Ulta. Um, and I'm not about to try and fucking color match myself online because I can barely do it in store is something you miss I miss my parents I live in uh, Seattle Washington right now my parents live in Singapore so go take the Jaclyn Hill palette and let me take this shade right here which is Hunt's favorite song I have three favorite songs right now so I'm gonna tell you which one it is right now one of them is Dancing with a Stranger by Sam Smith and no money, because no money has to kill it. Okay. Have you guys seen the music video for this? Normani killed it, okay? Like, she looks so gorgeous. I was like, how can a human being look that gorgeous? That's how I feel about her and Priyanka Chopra. I don't know if I said her name wrong or not, but the woman is gorgeous the other song that i've been listening to non-stop obviously like everybody else on this freaking planet is ariana grande she's there zodiac sign Normally, i've been hella into this because one of my co-workers she did this little test thing where it's like like right now if when you're watching this think of three animals at the top of your head and say them aloud have you thought about it did you think it Right, okay. First animal that you said is what you see yourself as. Second animal is how other people view you. And your third animal is what you truly are. So, mine was leopard, panther, and cat. <laughs> so they were all cats. And so I was like, oh, I wonder what this says about like my zodiac sign. So I looked it up and weirdly enough, my sun sign, my moon sign, and my rising sign are all Virgos. All of them. I'm just, I'm just saying. That's kind of weird. Next question is favorite quote. The only thing that comes to mind is La Vie en Rose, which basically, if you don't know what that means, it's like look through rose colored glasses or something like that. And I thought that's really, I think it's really, really pretty. I take this shade right here, and this is Jax. Next question is favorite actor. I think Johnny Depp all the way. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Favorite color. My favorite color is pink. Mm hmm Everything pink. Loud music or soft music? I feel like that definitely depends on the time and place. Like when I'm getting ready to go out to the club or something like that, then I want some loud music to you know get to get me pumped and all that like i don't want to be <laughs> listening to no soft music when i'm about to go to the club you know what i'm saying but sometimes like if i'm studying or if i'm just chilling at home then um sometimes i'll listen to soft music the jacqueline home movie ballot again and we're gonna take this brown shade which is chip where do you go when you're sad my bed inside my covers just safely by myself. How long does it take you to shower? When I wash my body, which is days I don't want to wash my hair because I don't want to wash my hair every day, it takes about seven minutes. Um, but when I wash my hair, it takes about, it usually goes through like six songs, so about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. If I wash my hair, you know, the full shampoo, conditioner, wash body, doing doing a shaker scrub, everything. Next question is, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? <laughs> well, if my boyfriend answered this question, he would say fucking two, three hours. If I'm going, if I know that I'm going to be doing like a natural look where I'm just going out the door like really fast, 
and I could do it in probably like 20 minutes 15 or 20 minutes and then if I'm wanting to experiment and everything and make it look really really nice then probably like 45 minutes to an hour we're gonna take I'm pretty sure this is called face but I could be wrong but I'm gonna take this and literally put it directly in the dead center of my eyelid just to give it a little bit of more pop or highlight question is ever been in a physical fight kind of but um i was also really young i was like i might have been like eight and it wasn't really a physical fight it was more of like she hit me once and then i hit her because she hit me and then that was it and then she started crying and we stopped and the teacher came and i got a time out and then i got suspended for like a day or they were like oh you need to go home and i'm just over here like just me though just me okay just because she started crying and i was defending myself great but this one girl definitely had it out for me like she hated me so she would always try to do something to me and be hella mean but <laughs> little did you know i'm definitely i'm a prideful person so i'm not gonna let you see me cry or do whatever so it's like if you hit me i'm gonna hit you two times harder i'm gonna take the elf poreless face primer if you didn't see my review video, you should go check it out. I'll probably put it up here, or is it on this side? I don't know. You should definitely check it out, my review. But obviously, you gotta know my final thoughts if I'm freaking using it in another video. It's pretty good. This part of my chin kind of hurts when I press it. That means I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be a zit right here. You know that, you know that pre-zit pain? <laughs> is that even a thing is that a word <laughs> pre-zip paint i'm gonna go in with the one of my favorite foundations right now of all time so far is <laughs> i get contradicted myself it's the maybelline superstay full coverage 24 up to 24 hour foundation and if you want to know the shade i'm in i am in the shade honey 320 turn on what is a turn on one of my turn ons are basically someone who can a guy that can fix things like i don't know just like manly being like oh i'm gonna fix this bookshelf or wow this color might be a little too dark for me i know that i'm supposed to have like a summer shade and a winter shade but that's too expensive to try and figure out which <laughs> what kind of shade you are and yada yada so i just usually stick to one i do assume that this is definitely my summer shade because <laughs> Bitch don't match. I mean, in person, doesn't look that bad. So next question was a turn off. What's a turn off? A guy that's bad with alcohol, like a drunk person. That's a complete turn off. Someone who's drunk. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, obviously, if you're going out to a club, yada yada. But I, I'm okay with you drinking alcohol. It's not a problem. I just need you to be able to handle your alcohol well. If not, that is complete turn off. Next question. The reason I joined YouTube. The reason I joined YouTube is i really like editing videos and like filming ever since i was in high school i was just really really into it like i remember when i was in this like a couple of the classes and we had to film videos right and i'd be like oh i'd be so into it and i'd be like oh i can make this better i can do this i can do that and i would always love re-watching my work and being like oh that was really good or oh i should have done this now i know things yada yada so i always liked creating basically you know if it's storytelling and everything I, I just love that and also i got really into makeup like everybody else on this goddamn planet <laughs> taking the anastasia beverly hills foundation stick in espresso to contour my face but um and then i also had a lot of girls around me um that was trying to get into makeup or like just starting out and they were asking me all these questions about makeup brands and like uh, what palette i used or how i did my makeup and yada yada and they were like oh my god you should start doing youtube yada yada and so i was like you know what it's like mm, it's a good way to put what i like to do passion wise and i and like i love doing makeup and creating so i was like let's do that hopefully it goes somewhere but even then even if it's not i have so much fun filming and editing the video because i'm like oh it's 
is gonna look so good like I don't even care about the views obviously I don't got none <laughs> but I still keep doing it the only problem is you know I know that I should be more consistent and post more but this is a hobby and when real life is in me every day Sometimes I don't got time to be doing my hobby, you know what I'm saying? If you want to see more videos or makeup videos, I also do Instagram videos if you want to follow me on Instagram. Um, it's just at MercyLoveXO. I'll either put it on this screen or I'll put it down in the description box below. But you can follow that. And I do a lot of makeup videos there. And those are a lot easier to do because they can only be a minute long. And I also do TikTok, which I'll, it's also the same, Mercy, Mercy Love XO. I'll put that down below as well. And TikTok, I mostly just do comedy videos, like skits. So if you're into like physical comedy and like to laugh, go on and check out my uh, TikTok. Next question is fears. I'm afraid of heights and I found that out later in life. I mean, when I was younger, I felt like Again, because I was a prideful child that was like, I'm not afraid of nothing. Took your time with my I'll get on top of this shit. I'll get on top of that shit. But now, mm -mm, girl. As soon as I look down, it's all over. Sometimes I just not, I can't even move. And I'm just like, I can't do this. I gotta hold on to somebody or hold on to something. I just can't. I'm scared of time. By that I mean like, I'm scared of running out of time. Like, you know, dying, ending life. Wow, that turned into a really morbid video real quick. But I'm also afraid of forever. Living forever or anything that's unknown that doesn't have an end because it just it just freaks me out. I can't do space. I'm afraid of space. Just the idea of it never ending. I've never used this. It's the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade What Shady Well, it's the Shady Beaches, but Wet n Wild, you not slick. You not slick. Um, last thing that made you cry. Oh, I think it was when I was drunk. I'm, I have really weird phases drunk. Sometimes I'll be like really, really, really loud and obnoxious. And then other times I'm like, like aggressive. And then other times I'm like really emotional. Like I remember the first time when I started getting really, really tipsy. The first time in my life that I was getting tipsy. And my, it was with my boyfriend and we were at his house and he was like, we were both getting tipsy and buzzed or whatever. He was like, here's, you're my number one best friend or whatever. And then I said, oh, you're my number two best friend. And then he was like, yeah, I know. I, I kind of figured and then I was like yeah and I have like a several best friends I was like debating between um, this girl named Maria and, the, and another friend of mine named Amelia and I was like and I started crying and I was like I don't know I don't know who's my best who's my number one best friend is it Maria is it Amelia I don't know who it is and then he was like oh my god it's okay you can have more than one best friend or more than one number one best friend and I was like no you can't and I was just bawling, girl. Not my proudest moment, but you know, but that was that was pretty funny. Last time you said you loved someone, yesterday. And I told my boyfriend that I loved him. Next question is, meaning behind your YouTube name? It's actually not that deep. <laughs> I don't know, it's just that my name is Mercedes, so nickname for that that my dad used to call me when I was younger is Mercy, so I always associated Mercy, and then I don't know, I just thought Mercy Love was really, really pretty. And with my initials is ML, so I was like, that's perfect. Mercy Love, ML, my initials, ML, why not? But I remember there was like, I don't know if it was Instagram or if it was Space, but Mercy Love by itself was taken for something. So I needed to do like, so I did Mercy Love XO. I mean, for YouTube right now, I just dress Mercy Love, but for all my social media handles, it's Mercy Love Exo. Last book you read. Whew, this is going by real fast because I don't even think I remember the last time I had time to read a book. Last book I read was whatever book I had to read for college. Oh, wait, no, I'm lying. Last time I read a book was on Monday, so it was like a few days ago. The book I'm currently reading is the MCAT books because I'm studying for the MCAT. Last question in this list is the book you're currently reading and right now i'm studying for the mcat because i want to go and try to go to medical school so i'm reading those books i don't know that counts but yeah i finished doing my eyeliner and popped on some lashes i think these are like the kiss lashes one of the kiss ones i'm gonna go into highlighter now and i'm gonna take the ofra naked tutorials ever glow highlighter 
Spritz my face first with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Ooh, bitch. Yes, bitch. Does everybody do that? <laughs> when they put it on highlight? Just talking to themselves, being like, ooh. Ooh. My lips, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna mix two. So I'm gonna start out, now this is looking real busted, but it is the Wet n Wild lipstick. It's one of the round lipsticks and spiked with rum. I take the Kat Von D Lita liquid lipstick and tone it down just a little bit. I did nothing. <laughs> and that is the end of this look. Wow. As soon as I took those ears off, it literally made me look like I was bald. But now it's done. This is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any video suggestions that you want to see on my channel, just let me know down below in the comment section. And don't forget to follow me on on my other social media it will be listed down below in the description box yeah let me know if you're ready for spring and if you're gonna be rocking this makeup look for spring if you guys like this or give this video a thumbs up i might do more of these often where i'll probably maybe do q a's or i'll do one where i do another list of questions and try to answer them because i'm a talk i'm a i'm a chatty person so maybe this is a new type of video that i can do and incorporate in my channel on my channel so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time bye